Hello guys and welcome to a new tutorial. Today I want to show you how to do a key system. So, have, so that you have to find the item first before you can open a door or to build up a bridge. For that import a mesh. I will use a flower mesh as a key. Drag and drop it. Right click onto the mesh. Convert. Convert mesh actor to move. Now go into Kismet. Right click new object by using interpret and actor. Now right click and add a trigger. Add trigger. Place it right to the flower. Scale it a little bit up or down. And that's it. Go to Kismet. Right click. New event is in trigger 5. Touch. Now we want that the flower disappears when we touch this trigger. So do a right click. New action. Toggle. Toggle hidden. Now connect the touch to this hide. And the target with our static mesh. Okay, now we have to make a bool variable, so right click, oh here is one, right click, new variable, bool. Type in a bool na a variable name, so let's choose key, and that's it. Now go down to the toggle hidden, right click, new action, and then set variable, bool. Now we have to set a bool variable, so connect the out to the in. Do a right click, new event, no, new variable, bool. Now set it to true, so type at b value 1 and connect the value with the true. Now right click, new event, named variable, type in your name, so key, and connect it with target. Ok, now we, when we touch the trigger, the flower disappears and that's it. Ok, now we have to set the trigger where we have to, where we have to place the key. So I will search a mesh, let's say a bucket, bucket, so drag and drop it and that's it. Now when we get to this bucket with the flower it will open up the door and the bridge. So to do that go into Kismet, right click into the, into the window, add actor and add trigger because now we have to add a trigger so that he knows that we are touching something. So place the trigger to the bucket and scale it up or down. I will scale it down. Now going to Kismet, right click new event using trigger 6, touch. Good. Okay. Now right click. Now to check if we have the flower. So go to new condition, comparison, compare bool. So now we compare this pool, this pool, with this here. To do that, connect the touch to the in, do a right click and add a named variable, new variable, named variable. Now type in key at the variable name and connect to this pool. Now it checks if here stands key. And yeah, that's it. Now we can add a true animation or false animation. So when it's true, so when the key, when you have the key, it will play a matinee sequence. When it's false, it will play a message. To do a message, right click, new action, voice announcement, toggle announcement. Now connect the false with the enable, click onto the toggle announcement and type in your announcement. So let's say, search the key. Oof, yeah. And output object comment to screen. Let's try it out. Right click, play from here. Now when we touch this, the information appears, so search the key. That's it. Now, do a right click, new matinee, and connect the first matinee with the true. Because now we want that when we touch this trigger, this here comes up and this door opens. To do that, Right click onto the mesh, convert, convert to mover, go into Kismet, double click onto the matinee, right click, add an empty group, uh, group name, ok, right click and then choose, um, where is it, add new movement track. Ok, now put this a little bit up to let's say one second and do the animation. So. Yeah, move this up and press enter. 
Okay, that's our animation. Now we will do a second matinee. So, new matinee. Connect it with true, to play with true, then go to the door. Now we have to do the same as before. So, right click onto the object, convert, convert static mesh actor to move. Now go to Kismet, double click on the matinee sequence, right click, add new empty group, right click, add new movement track, go to your mesh, put this to one second, and move it. And enter. Okay, try it out. Zoom. Okay, it works. So now I want to add a particle system. So that when this goes up, there are some particles, some dust and a sound. To do that, go to content browser, go to particle system and choose one. I will choose, um, let's say, yeah, no, hmm, which one? Okay, let's say I will choose this here and put it into your lab. Now, double click onto it and auto activate you have to delete. So click onto auto activate. Now copy this particular system and put it to the second door and yeah, place it. Now, right click, new action, toggle and then toggle. Now connect the turn on with true and put in your two emitter systems. So right click, new object we are using meter 3 and right click, new object we are using meter 4 and connect them to target. Okay, now we want to add a sound. So new action, um, sound, where sound, sound and play sound and connect the play with the true. Okay. Now going to go into your content browser and choose any sound you like. Hmm. Which one? Let's say no. This one here. I will take this. So click onto the sound cube, go into Kismet and add your sound at play sound. Okay. Now, you can also add the sound at the falls or something else, but I won't do this now. Now I want to add a flower. So, when we pick up this flower here, and go to this target here, to this bucket, it should appear in the bucket. To do that, copy the flower, move it to the bucket, and where is it? Where is the flower? Um, okay, where's the flower? Hmm, wait. Okay, now the flower is in the bucket. Okay, now click onto the flower, right click, convert, convert to move, static mesh, act, static mesh mover. With the flower selected, go into Kismet. New, ac new event, level loaded, right click, new action, toggle, toggle, loaded and visible with turn on, and right click, new object we are using, interpreted actor 7. So, now we connect the toggle with our flower. Okay, when it's loaded, it should be turned off. So connect it to turn off. Now, connect it through with the turn on. And now when the level loaded, there's no flower in there. But when you go to this flower and pick it up and go to here, it will appear there. And yeah, let's try it out. And I forgot something to say. At the trigger, you have to type in zero. Max trigger count zero. So that you can use it yeah, as many times you like. This one you can use just one time, 
so maximal trigger count one and this here you can yeah as many you like and let's try it out right click play from here okay yeah that, that was a yeah arrow appeared loaded and visible here's, here's an arrow load and visible turn off oh yeah wrong not toggle we have to use new action toggle toggle hidden so when it loaded and visible so when the level loaded it should hide the mesh and when we have when we have the flower then it should unhide the mesh okay now it should work right click play from here okay now we go okay let's say it will use I will use a game type so right click play from here okay go to the flower and bam it disappears go to the bucket and you see we have a sound the animation is here and you see we fall down there's no collision to change that double click onto your static mesh and here the collision tab you have to choose block all you have to do the same with the door double click collision block all okay let's try it out another time play from here okay we touch the flower it's away we go to the bucket and everything works yeah and now we try it out with no flower so go to the bucket search the key yeah that's it how to make a key system and I hope you guys like it and until next time.